Final bar line time. Yeah, let's go. The next uh, Superstar Saga stream will probably be next Sunday. Not this one coming up, but the Sunday after. Because I'm not going to have time to plan out another charity stream this weekend since I'm not going to be home. But I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do for it. So, stay tuned. I will mention it by the end of next week. And, uh, we got a whole lot of nothing happening here. There we go. Ugh. Cool, so I just really wanted to play this again. I am so, so enjoying it. Uh, I have the list of songs that might get me pulped, so I'll keep that on hand. As long as I don't touch the DX stuff, it should be okay. But there are some lyrical songs that'll get claimed, like the f credits of Se 7 Remake. Uh, what I will do, though, right away here, I'm gonna get Chocobo unlocked and do Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. Sorry, Chocobo's Dungeon, Final Fantasy Fables. I'm not gonna title Expanded Your Party. Perfect. Beautiful. It's him. Choco's Bow. A friendly Chocobo could strengthen its wind abilities and increase travel speed in FMSs. Oh, that's cool. Cho chocolate potato. Support type. Nice stats there. F, 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 and F. F for Final Fantasy. Alright, there's only five songs here, so this won't take long. These are probably all going to be remixes, too. So what songs from the main game can I not play? I just want to take a quick look here. Wrong. Oh, I still have all my files from last night. Oh, you know, this is from tonight. What am I saying? Nice. Alright, uh, 10 2, 7 Remake FF Series. Okay, so I won't touch any of those tonight. Dungeon Hero X is themed. Oh, okay. This was used in uh, Chocobo GP as well. It's 60% higher rainbow criticals. Get the yellow Chocobo skin for the, mu for the Moogle. That's cool. Just bosses. Alright, let's do it. Alright, I still have the overlay on. Eh, whatever. It's cool. It's entertaining for people. This is a remix of uh, the, one of the battle themes from uh, Final Fantasy VIII.
Nice. Not bad. Yeah, it's a remix of Man with the Machine Gun from Final Fantasy uh, VIII. But honestly, I would say I'm more used to the Hero X version now, because this is used in every Chocobo game. That's probably not 60%. No, I got a lot of yellow criticals, too. I might do, like, a bunch of the smaller ones tonight. Uh, just to... Because they mo most of the smaller ones only have five songs each, and it'll get me a bunch of series done quickly. Pop-up duel. A lot of these songs are used in Chocobo GP as well, like, as race songs that you can get as DLC. Uh, have we seen all the other sh summons at this point that I've done? Yeah, I think so. We've seen Odin. I'm not sure if we've seen Ifrit. I'll set it for this match, but... It might be time to just go back to Phoenix at this point. That's right, we're going to Arizona. Defeat nine or more enemies. You're going to Brazil, and you get punched in the face. <laughs> oh, Lamia's. Lamia Mia. Well, I think I can navigate as little bit as the language comes there from the same romance family, so... But as for going to Brazil, no! <laughs> Look, the smiling friends went there, and they were okay. For about 15 minutes. Onion Knight! That's what Lols is. Lols is an Onion Knight, because he loves onions. I miss him. It was less than 15. Okay, there's my key. Yeah, so if you can't tell... Triggers move really fast. If you can't tell, uh, all this music in the Chocobo series is just remixes of other music. This is the Four Fiends from Final Fantasy IV. Triggers move really fast. So actually, something to note about that. Uh, I was watching Ash Paulson stream this earlier. He actually has his notes set to 3.0 by default. Which I'm, like, wondering. Like, I wonder if that'll be... What if I have Mog in my party? Um, oh, he was lower level, that's why. So I'm wondering if doing that might make the... Because the, the 
the slower the notes are, the more bunched up they're going to be when you have to hit a bunch in a row. If you make the notes faster, they'll come more spaced out. So it might be easier to figure out like where you need to hit. We're just going to switch back to the Phoenix at this point, because we've seen the rest of them. What if bungled this game not even three minutes in? Can't keep up the mountain buttons press needed to be pressed. There's also simple mode, which also ma all makes it one button. But yeah, I'm also playing on the highest difficulty for most songs. Three, the three thing is like the most difficult part. Oh yeah, it actually says how fast the trigger speed is. It's 2.0. Look in the overlay at the right. Oh my god, I beat the quest though. Whew. Yeah, this, yeah, look in the right, where it says trigger speed. On the very far right, it's 2.0. 1.0 is the default. And uh, when I was watching Ash stream, he has it on 1.3. Which makes, the, it the, again, the triggers come faster, but they're also more spaced out, so it's easier to see. As opposed to uh, having them all bunched up and making it harder to keep track of them all. A field theme would be good, though. That was a bit exhausting. Nope. It's all battles. Beat the boss within 30 seconds. Allies deal half damage with magic abilities. I'll put the uh, high potion on there just in case. I don't think it gets used if you don't actually... Uh... Drop your HP low enough.
You want Taco Bell now? Ah, uh, you're well. A little weird at the end there, but that was actually pretty easy overall. For a nine-star difficulty, that was really easy. <laughs> hey, if you if you want Taco Bell, you're really gonna want it after I hit this. Can I uh, actually? You know what? I want to see if that. Nope, still doesn't work. Still doesn't work. Big bridge. It's weird because Gilgamesh is in the Chocobo Mystery Dungeon series. Okay, no one got anything better. What's your highest stat here? Agility. What's your lowest stat? Luck? Yeah, sure. Here, have a luck plus. I'm gonna buff the shit out of Chocobo. Please, I'm trying to be considerate of others. I'm in a rural spot and there isn't much in the way of convenience here. It ain't New York City. Oh, right. We have the Taco Bell Cantina here in New York City where you can get alcohol. It's just a Taco Bell that serves alcohol. It's really, really stupid. A new adventure.
Oh, I somehow survived that. I put an order in, it would take nearly an hour to get there. There's so no point in doing so. Yeah, it'd probably be expensive, too. they probably ch charge more for the delivery out there. A rank, not great, but not terrible either. To be honest, I'm more happy to have cleared it on, on, on a higher difficulty than a lower difficulty without items. Clear with at least 80 h 80 percent HP. Yeah, no. Even with the high potion, that didn't happen. Title cleared. So I'm guessing the profi card. The reason it says, it does, it says zero out of whatever cleared is because I'm not clearing the quests specifically. Oh, look, it actually tells you what you get from all this stuff. There's no EMS stage for that. That kind of sucks. Yeah, series quest, series titles completed. Highest end. Okay, so yeah, it's based on uh, it's based on quests cleared, I think, and not uh, not actual maps cleared. Kind of sucks because the quests are something I'm probably not going back to do. But whatever. That's that's done. What the short ones are there? Mobius Final Fantasy. I don't know what that is. Record Keeper, that's 8. Type 0. This is one of the ones with band music in it, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, the City has 20 tracks. Final Fantasy Tactics has 7. Mystic Quest has its own map and has 5. Let's do that one. I, Ooh, man, they got that Mega Munchie box here now. Oh, yeah, no, that's... I love that thing. Because it gets... You get four items with it. You get nachos, a burrito, a taco, and whatever the specialty item is. And it's only, like, seven bucks. I'm like, oh, my God, it's so much food for, like, so little money. M much food for many, many little money. Anyway, this game is weird. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest was a game made specifically for people in America that didn't know how to play RPGs. And for some reason, it gets a whole map in this game. The sauce is too damn good. Yes, fire sauce, please. Always fire sauce. Chakra. So 15% of the HP gauge and cures poison. Time is usable too. When HP gauge drops below 30% or poison is activated. Okay. I got another Phoenix, but it's nowhere near as good as this one. We'll lock uh, Knights of the Round, actually. There we go. I want to keep at least one of every summon on hand. Because you never know. When they'll be called. 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 In Japan, this game was literally called Final Fantasy USA. It's an extremely linear RPG with an extremely basic story. It's literally made to be like the easiest thing ever. How insulting. Well, be they made it specifically because they thought at the time that people in America didn't see the appeal of RPGs. So they were like, well, Final Fantasy did pretty well over there, so let's make a fa like a fake Final Fantasy game. Yeah, it's literally Baby's first Final Fantasy. I'm gonna stream it someday, honestly. Just because it's apparently a very easy game, and it's not that long. It's only like, I think like 12 hours long, apparently. Uh, I already set myself, so I don't know why I'm wrecking myself here. That said, these songs will not be easy. Set items will carry forward when you choose to repeat a song or play a suggested song. Ah, cool.
Ah, shit. Not bad, considering I was bungling the beginning up. If I'd had this game at the time, I'd probably figure it eventually as I did with Pokemon Red and G's to Pokemon Click with you, yeah. Well, I mean, my that Pokemon Red was my second RPG. My first RPG was Mario RPG. And back then, I did not know how to play it. In fact, my friend who actually owned the game, it, it took us... It took us half a year to get past Seaside Town. We could not figure out how to beat, um, Yaradovic. We, we didn't realize we could just go and grind. <laughs> and eventually I got the player's guide, and then we managed to beat it. This sounds like the, uh, this sounds like the wrestler music from, uh, Live Alive. last one. Sounds good, this song, yeah. I mean, I've been told Mystic Quest is by no means a bad game. It's just not a... F it's not really like... If you've played any Final Fantasy game or pl played any RPG, you're gonna just coast through this because it's literally like a beginner game. Lime green Mog shirt. Aw. Uh, I wanted that for my Moogle. Right now he's stuck with polka dots. Ooh, this has got sort of like the Kirby 
thing in the background. Hear that? That part that went burr, 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 burr. That's a Kirby instrument. They use that. They use that in the uh, in, in Kirby. It's either three or Superstar. I think it's it's three. It's like the the map theme. It's like the same instrument. I didn't equip any abilities to uh, whatever his name is. the end there, but no bad, no biggie. Still managed to make it. I think I only got an A, though. Yeah. That's Sean Toto. Get more XP when defeated. Okay. <laughs> you know what I thought of when I heard that, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it was guts, man. That's exactly what that sounded like. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> that was such excellent timing. Oh, this is a, a cool final. Wow, this is the first one of these today. I can't take it seriously anymore. Gutsman's ass extended version.
Ah, oh, shit. Oh, what happened at the end there? I got up to the boss, too. Deadly Cutsman. Deadly Cutsman. Deadly Cutsman. 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 Orber's Boon. They make a cream for that now. got nothing. Dude's getting absolutely nothing. Square floor. Enemies deal double damage. Fucking this up. Fuck. I see we are cube now, yes. Oh, we got far in that, too. All right. Pick ourselves up and try that again. No. This is the problem. I'm, I can't use L, Z, R, and ZL. I'm like, it's just, it's just my brain doesn't want to do that. It wants to just use A and B, but it's really hard to do that and hit the, uh, the the sticks at the same time because I need my thumb for all of this.
Nice. Got a lot of healing there. Yes. I, well, Orb of Boon, like, fully refilled us. I have to see what that ability actually does and how it procs. Chocobo, hey, Atman. How you doing? I've also got the Jotaro, yes and no. Five series quest titles. So I still need to clear two more to get this one. Alright, well, I got another key that I can unlock something with. Mobius Final Fantasy has five songs. This has a very few. 10 2, but I think that's one of the band songs in it, so I don't want to play that one. Yeah, I think Mobius is just the next short one. Wall. But not not to be confused with Warrior of Light, that is a different character altogether. Murph. Oh wait, what was Orba's boon? That's not the character I was looking at. Restores 100% of the HP gauge when HP gauge drops below 10%. That is bullshit overpowered. It's only used by Chocobo. Modeling increases travel speed, increases damage the user deals with wind abilities by 100%. So it makes Arrow do double damage. Wow. Let's put Ishtola in here. No, 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 no. Er, cancel. Uh, all right. Keep both these Alexanders just because they're both kind of good. Keep that. Keep these. Okay, yeah. There we go. Keep at least lock at least one of every summon. Band song, just make all the song songs banned just to spare everyone some time. Well, then I can't stream it. Cluck, cluck. <laughs> Sorry. No, we're not doing that. Wait, did I put Wall in there? I think I did. I got rid of what's-his-name. I have no idea what Mobius Final Fantasy even is. I think we had this conversation before when I did the demo. Oh, he's still there. Okay, but Wall's still there. Wall's here as well. Beat one or more King Behemoth. What?
Whoops. HX uses both sticks like in the arcade, really. I, I keep forgetting there's an arcade version of the Uta Rhythm. It's my first S in a while, huh? I've been getting mostly A's. Yeah, this game requires both sticks for the standard mode. Simple mode only requires one. Dancing Edge. Activate 15 more abilities. Yeah, see, pair mode, which is one Joy-Con each. Simple is one button. Standard is normal play. And I try to play as many songs as I can on Ultimate. Supreme is like, fuck you, difficulty. Dancing Angst. <laughs> Dancing Edge. Ow, the Edge. Entire parties with the characters of the same type for Arrhythmia bonus. Oh, I have done that. My other teams are uh, Attack Team, Magic Team, and Hunter Team to get more treasure. What game was was it called Mad Oscar in? other games that the game's HUD looks like a stream setting. I mean, it is. I could turn that off. That's, that's, it's purposely, it's called a live UI, but it's purposely, like, everyone's saying it's, it's for streamer mode. And FF6. Ah, got it. Thought they already had the names finalized by then. Oh, you know why? It's because of the Woosley translation. Oh, I got a new airship. I got the Strahl. Yeah, see, live info settings, you could display high scan and get to see it. I could turn it off. I mean, the, to be honest, as cool as it is, like, it doesn't really do much. Unless people are really, really care. There's no need for me to show it. Uh. Slide triggers are worth 1.5 times as many points as a touch trigger. Man, we have we've gotten like what one field battle, all, one field song all day. The rest of it all been battles.
Got toted. How far to the stream was that? About a minute ago. It's about 54 minutes. I want that as a thumbnail. I want the toted characters. 54 minutes. Cool. Find sad that my eyes can keep up with the pace, but the body can't react fast enough to the inputs. Oh, same. I can see what's coming. I just can't hit it. Ultros. Yeah. Not defeat enough enemies. I'm also not using my strongest team. At least I don't know. Because the thing is, I'm raising all the characters differently. Femme Fatale. Defeat the boss within 25 seconds. Strahl, now piloted by the Sky Pirate Balthier. This airship was developed by the military in Final Fantasy XII. Keeping the Falcon on. Is there any new uh, summons? No. Same ones. Again, the Phoenix is the best one. I have physical ability damage plus 15. Item drop rate plus 20%, and I restore 20% of my, uh, HP while dealing damage to enemies. So it's like, this is really good. I got this from the demo, too, and it still hasn't been outclassed. Because it's always the one that gets automatically summoned, no matter which one I put here. It always switches back to it. Anyway, these are the other teams I have set up. Uh, physical team, magic team, and hunter team. And then I have a spare team open, which I don't know what I want to set that one as. What if I do to do a team of all support types? Balloon? Yeah, that's the enemy, right? Increases each party's agility by 30, active until the end of the MS. Oh, so it's it's just instant haste on everyone. Rare Summoner score causes the character to acquire the Rare Summoner ability. Increases the rarity level of effects on Summon Stones that appear in Treasure Chest. Wait, what? Causes the character to acquire a Rare Summoner ability. Increases the rarity level of effects on Summon Stones that appear in Treasure Chest. Oh! So if I get a Summon Stone and someone in my party has this ability on, then they get a better Summon Stone. That's cool. I don't know if I want to use that on Chocobo, though, just because I don't want to get rid of one of the abilities. Because Chocobo, Dash, and Arrow are literally comboing into each other. Yeah, Chocobo Dash increases wind abilities by 100%. Which means that Arrow deals double damage. Get in here. Need some levels. Again, that's part of the reason this is so hard, is because I'm I'm constantly using the younger, the younger, the lower leveled characters. And which means I'm gonna have less HP and less defense and less attack power. Oh. <clears throat> that was an that was a crack. Crack. Que. What the- oh, what does that trigger?
little dicey at the end. So how wall burning is the DLC? I don't know because I spent I I was a rube and I bought the deluxe like ultra deluxe edition. The base game is 50. Uh, the base game with the premium pack, which gives you the extra songs that I can't stream because they're all copyrighted. Um, I think that's another like fifteen dollars. So that makes it like sixty-five. If you get the deluxe, if you get like the ultra deluxe edition that includes all the DLC packs as well as they release, uh, that's gonna be a that's a hundred dollars total. But also each DLC pack is gonna be five dollars on its own. So if you don't want the digital deluxe edition, you could always just get the fifty dollar one and then buy the packs that you want. Personally, I'm gonna get my money's worth out of it because I'm definitely playing every pack. So I'm fine with spending the one hundred. To be fair, though, and also to be fair. The 3DS uh, theater rhythms cost more than a hundred if you bought the game with all the DLC, because the games were like forty each, and then there was at least like seventy, sixty, seventy dollars of DLC that came out, and they were all separate. They weren't packs; they were separate songs, which, they, which made it more expensive. So, ultimately, this is a much better deal because you're you're paying a flat fee and getting five hundred songs, which is the most of any theater rhythm game. And you're paying less than what you paid on the other ones. Granted, I mean, it's still a lot of money to be paying on a single game, but I bought all the Smash DLC, and that's well over a hundred, well over a hundred dollars. It was what twenty-five and thirty for the expansion passes for that that game. So that was fifty-five dollars right there, sixty dollars for the game. That's hundred and fifteen bucks, and then every costume, which is like two dollars each. Sure, are judged a bit more harshly. Earn nine million points or more. Oh my god. We may, uh, we may not be well suited for this. Let's do it. Finish this game, I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> Away. Hello, I hit that. My HP still going down. Jesus, what happened at the end there? It was ridiculous. Got nowhere near 9 million points.
Whatever. I could walk away from it. That's a good, uh... That's a good run for me. Nine plus. I'll turn off the overlay now. For a bit. No reason to keep it on. One more title to play this. That's just literally theater theater rhythm music. Alright, what do we want to unlock? This has one of the band songs in it, so I'm not going to do that one yet. Let's do an actual... Because I have time to probably do, like, one whole route here. Not a, not one with 19 stages. Uh, let's see. What, what do we got that's more manageable? New Final Fantasy 1. 3. 4. Ligma. Uh, Final Fantasy VII series has 14. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Final we haven't finished Final Fantasy VII original, so I don't want to bother with that yet. 9 is 18. He has a lot of stages here. 10-2. 10-2 has one of the band songs in it, though. Final Fantasy XIV has 32 songs. <laughs> City has 20. All right, you know what? Let's just, let's just do Final Fantasy one. Let's go old school for a bit. This is gonna get very repetitive. Warrior of Light and Princess Sarah. Well, also remember that that counts every expansion in one group. They don't have multiple sections for fourteen. Seven has three separate titles here. Atman, did you read uh did you read the first chapter of JoJo Lands yet? Aurora. You're gonna hear a lot of left earring in this in this chat in this title, unless they use some of the remake music, which I hope they do. It's so weird that like two had one song from the PS1 version. Thank you. 
Left beef time, yeah. To be honest, it's not that bad in this game compared to 2. 2, it's like so left... left aligned. It's really weird. Like your right ear has nothing to do during it. Protect and cure. They protect, but they also heal. Oh, nice. This is the PS1 version. But that's not. Extra cure won't, uh, won't uh, hurt. Current fastest time in Pizza Tower is 1 hour and 22 minutes. 1 minute and 22 seconds. I, I was going to finish it tonight, but I started too late. Also, Admin, did you read uh, the first chapter of JoJo Lands yet? Uh, I skimmed. Let me find scans to uh, be proper. I'm in intrigued what was given so far. Seems we're going for a high story. Yep. A lot of a uh, lot of a lot of part five kind of early part five vibes going on. A lot of a lot of speculation that uh, J Jodio is um is just alternate universe Giorno to to like go in line with the uh, alternate universe Josuke and and Jonathan. Seems to make sense. It's also like the name is very obvious too. Like Joe Dio. It's like okay, it's it's literally doing the same thing Giorno did, but way more on the nose and less subtle about it. But it's uh, it's it's interesting. It's very good so far, and the stand abilities they show in the first chapter are definitely uh, intriguing. Increases each party's member's spirit by thirty. Active until the end of the MS. Cool. Feels constant refills the HP gauge by a small amount active until- Ooh, that's good. Payon. Payon. Peon? And he's got damage reduction, which is always good. Play a Princess Sarah in your party. Well, that's easy.
Jorna still around gold experience requiem prevent protect him from that universe reset. Yeah, but remember, this isn't the same I thought I thought we established that uh the redone like parts seven, eight, and nine are just completely separate universe. Whatever. And maybe it isn't, I don't know. Then there's the question of whether or not Jorno even still has Gold Experience Requiem. Because don't we see the arrow at the very end of Golden Wind? Few light novels confirmed it, really. I had no idea. I'm more concerned if we're gonna see Emporio in the story since you know he also survived that, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It's kinda hard to tell. I mean, people, people are already seeing uh, parallels between Hermes and, and Dragona. Dragana. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce uh, pronounce their name. His name. There's also confusion over over you know Dragana's Dragona's actual like identity based on on how Araki wrote the character. Which again, I I'm fine with whatever whatever ends up being actual canon about him. But as of right now, the translations use masculine pronouns for him and. Uh, like outwardly state that he's he's had cosmetic surgery to look the way he does. I feel like Jodio's gonna be a misdirection. It's not the first time he does that. Maybe. I mean, it's it's interesting. I mean, again, not to not to stay fixated on Dragona here, even though he's so far my, probably my favorite character in the in the part. Um, he's, he's honestly, if, if the story goes well, I could see him, like, being the best Jobro, in my opinion. And in my, in my opinion, he probably, he's probably, he's already up there. His stand is really cool. Uh, bu -bu 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 opening theme, get 80% better judgments. Good or, oh, good or better. Okay, that doesn't seem too hard. It's interesting, too, because this is the first time we've had, like, the secondary character be directly related to the to the Jojo of the part with them being brothers. No, that's Jodio's stand. Um I for, I forget what what Dragona's is called. It looks like Drago here's another thing though, Dragona's stand looks like um looks like sex pistols from part five. It looks like Mista's stand but with treads. And it also kind of resembles Harvest from, from part four. I feel really bad if anyone's watching this and was like, I'm gonna read the new JoJo manga this weekend, and, uh... That's how you know it's someone else, because I said manga when I say manga, uh...
I mean, I understand what's being talked about, but I'm enjoying it anyway. Heroic Cluck. I better put in my, uh... Better put in my description for this VOD upload that it includes JoJo spoilers. Well, to be fair, there doesn't really... I haven't said anything about the story at this point. Outside of the general gist of the, uh, first chapter. Complete. Key. Here you go. This is the one you were waiting for. Oh, I got nothing. Regroup. Let me use my Ignis. Restores 50% of the HP and slightly reduces damage taken when gauge drops below 15%. It's really good. We have another healer that's low leveled. Yeah, I guess Ishtola. She knows pay on too. Oh, I wonder if they. St I wonder if these stack. I wonder if two peons uh, stack. My fingernails got really long because I didn't clip them, and now I bite my nails. It's a bad habit, but I've, like, gradually bitten off a bunch of my nails now. The thing is, I don't bite them down like a lot of people do. They, they bite them really far down. It looks really bad. I only bite them when they actually get, like, long. If I know previous, uh, if I know the first theater rhythm game, Mount, Glo Mount Gulg, I always say Mount Glug is going to be a stage, but it's going to be the PS1 version of the song. I got Kuja. There's a um, there's a cosplayer, a Japanese cosplayer on YouTube. He, uh, they, I don't know, I don't actually don't know what they identify as, but uh, oh nice, this is the PS1 version of Battle 2. They dress up as Samus at every Nintendo event. Like they don't go to the event, they watch it online, but they dress up in this big, bulky, like rubbery Samus suit, power suit costume. And whenever there's a Metroid announcement, they, like, they don't talk, they just gesture wildly. It's so amusing to watch. Ethereal Pulse. Can only be used by Ishtola, restores a small amount of HP with every trigger hit. Only active when the song is half over. Regen. Restores a tiny amount of HP with every trigger hit. Okay, so it's, it's a second regen. That's cool. And now she's got regular cure. Cool, well, Ishtola's gonna be carrying us for a bit.
but yeah, it's very uh, it's very amusing to watch this uh, Samus cosplayer uh, be excited over Metroid announcements. Like the the, the latest direct, because they showed the the Game Boy stuff right before the Prime remake. So they like were like, oh cool, the old Metroid games are coming back, and then they saw the Prime remake, and they were like super excited. <laughs> God. Messed that up. BRB reading. Nice. Oh, I totally messed that up. Towards the end there. I have so much healing now that it's kind of offsetting it, though, which is nice. Totally. I felt. Yeah, you can see I fell apart at the end there. <laughs> Weapon break. I did defeat the Lich, too. Nice. <coughs> Part of the reason is because I have two of the Warrior Lights cards. And once you have the characters collect a card, it actually makes them much stronger, apparently. Yep, there's Mount Gog. Also, I just realized why this song is the PS1 version. This song doesn't exist in the NES version. The NES version of this game only had one battle song the entire time. That's why anything past the first battle theme is going to be the remake. Deals low damage in proportion to the user's strength and moderately lowers an enemy's, at enemy's attack power. I'm gonna be honest, the stats didn't get boosted too much from those cards. Because it boosts everything but HP, and HP is his best stat. Beat the boss by dealing ice damage. No, thank you. This was one of the, like, in in, uh, in the original theater rhythm, there was a special set of songs that had, like, a very specific... It had, like, a specific difficulty. It wasn't any of the ones. It was purple instead of one of the other colors. And it was supposed to be, like, really hard, but none of them were. They were all kind of just, like, extreme level and never really got higher than that.
Wow, that was really good. I did, I did really well there. <coughs> I'm proud of myself. Perfect chain, wow. Cool. Didn't miss a beat. Poison! Metroid Prime Remastered comes out physically next week, and I will be getting it, but uh, I don't think I'm going to play it yet. I'm going to probably be playing this and Wario Land 3 until Kirby comes out, and then I'll play Kirby, and then maybe I'll do Metroid Prime Remastered after that. New Year Hakama. 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 I like how Chocobo unlocked a new move, and they were like, yeah, no, don't put it on. It's it's garbage. <laughs> I'm going to use this, because I think I might get treasures. Partner's HP is added up to make the party's HP. The higher HP, the easier it is to complete a song without a game over. Or you could just not suck and perfect chain everything. I'm talking to myself there. That one was over quick. How come the other NES short songs can't be that fast? <clears throat> hmm. And of course, I get no items. Eight million or more. New Year's Hakama. I like that. It's cute. Wow, I, did I waste that Mog Amulet? I, I really hope it didn't. I really hope it didn't uh, deplete itself. That kind of suck. It did. Ah, that sucks. Thought I was gonna get at least one card there. Perfect for ringing in the new year. Stylish. Okay, two more to go. This one had... Oh, because I guess there's only a few battle themes. <laughs> so this one has way more field themes than the rest. Beat the boss in 25 seconds. Yeah, that's not happening. And then we'll close this out with a... Uh, with the final boss theme. And then I'm going to probably stop because it's almost been three hours. And it's almost 3.30. So I'll have to finish the laundry and go to bed.
Up to the boss, we didn't finish it though. <laughs> I see that face. I know you're reacting to me saying I have to finish the laundry. Thursday nights is when I do it. Oh, I got two cards there. If I had used the Mog Amulet here, I would have gotten four. Fuck, man. Oh, and then we got the EMS to do after we uh, finish the last stage here. Via Turopa. Hope you didn't just make me say something rude. Final battle. This truly is our final fantasy. That was pretty easy. So Dragona, okay, so Dragona is trans, but not exactly since Jotaro, jo, uh, Jotaro, Jodio refers to them as is he. So here's, here's what the translations have made it out to be, and people are not entirely sure if this is accurate or not. Oh, I got a summon stone for Alexander. Um, Dragona was born male, referred to it with masculine pronouns, and as they got older, they got cosmetic surgery to look more feminine. But they still go by masculine pronouns. So it's more that they're gender non-conforming male. At least that's what it is on the surface. And that's just how the translators translated it right now. Because um, in Japanese, I believe Jodio refers to him as, as a Niki, which means big bro. But also... 
uh, they refer to themselves. Actually, I don't know. There, there's also a point where they refer... I don't know. I can't remember how it works. But the translations seem to be going for the most cautious, cautious yet faithful interpretation. Until Araki says something, we're not really going to know for sure. Because it's clear that they got... It's, it's very clear from the dialogue that they got cosmetic surgery to look more feminine. Opening theme. And Garland. He'll knock us down. Crystal shines forth with the power of countless melodies, leading the way to a new world. I can unlock the rhythm now. 16 songs in there. Oh, I don't even have to unlock it. It's already unlocked. I'm not doing this tonight, though. I don't think there's any songs that are, that'll get slammed here. Final Fantasy series will... TFF menu arrangement. Texas Furry Fiesta. I <laughs> know. It's funny because the first time I went to Texas Furry Fiesta was when I got Theater Rhythm and I was playing it. So I was playing TFF at TFF. Okay, so what these are all going to be is these are going to be songs from other Theater Rhythm games. Like menu themes or, uh, or like exclusive songs. That's cool. But I'm not going to do that now. Japanese doesn't have gendered pronouns, but still confusing some words are used depending on gender, so don't blame people for the confusion, yeah. It's mostly based on the fact that Jodio refers to Dragona as, uh, as Aniki. Aniki. Okay. Opening beam. So this will be the last one we do. I am going to switch my party, though, and put Garland in here. Former King of Cornelia can buff your party's physical abilities. I'm going to use one of these. I don't, I don't know how much experience these get. Like, I don't know the experience spread in this game. Like, when's the best time to buff the experience points and level up a low-level character? Is it based on difficulty? The number difficulty? Pay on gold growth egg. Nice. That's what happened with Yamato and Kiku in one piece at the beginning until Oda himself confirmed it. Yeah. I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping that Araki confirms it sooner rather than later. Let 
Nice. Nice. That's 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 in competition for uh That's in competition for the thumbnail alongside the toad image. Enterprise, nice. I like how it recommends other songs based on the genre, like movement music. So I did all the songs there. Did all the songs here. I didn't pass Battle Theme A on, on Critical. You know what? Give it another shot. Give it a shot. My goal is to, to complete every song on, on Extreme, or Ultimate, whatever it is. I can't remember the name of these difficulties. The Red difficulty. I don't care about the, the Supreme difficulty. Wow, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Why would, why did I get an, why did I get a D and fail it the first time I tried that? My characters weren't even. Oh, I guess I have a little sixty something chocobo. So it went from a D to an S. So I got collect a card magnet. Need five hundred enemies. Nice. Anyway, well, that clears that one. I haven't done Harvest. But, oh, whoops, I changed modes. Still haven't done Harvest on higher difficulty. Why? Level 8 FMS. Did I really fuck it up that badly? Increases how often collected cards appear in treasure chest shop by enemies. Active until the end of the MS. I mean, if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to take Arrow off and put that on. That's probably how I'm supposed to use the Mog Amulet. But I won't use it now. What I'll probably do is I'll put three Hunters in the rest of the party with Chocobo. Hunter. This will be the last song. I just wanna. I just wanted to clear out as many... Uh, missed things here as I can.
Again, that was incredibly easy. Why, was I having, why did I have so much trouble with that yesterday? <laughs> I haven't perfect changed it. I got a triple S. Five, no, six I finished. And I've done all of them on, on uh, Ultimate. Five I haven't finished yet. Five I still have to finish that map. Three I haven't touched, and that's a song that gets claimed, so I'm not going to be playing that. One finished. Seven? I haven't beaten, f I haven't done bombing, I haven't finished bombing mission on that yet. That was, this is probably the hardest one. I've had on uh, Ultimate so far. Can't play that. Nope, shush. Actually, I did play it. I played it off stream. I can't. Nope, 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 nope. I haven't done any of these. Wait, did I seriously not? Wow, I didn't. I haven't done any of these on Expert, on Ultimate. They're all on Expert. Today's top hit. I think, uh, I think, I think this is where we're gonna stop for tonight, before I, I get more wrapped up into this, because it's already 3.40. I gotta stop. Que, the heart. Thank you so much for coming by. As always, I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, who has been here, who still comes here, who talks to me often. You, you the real MVPs. Uh, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. I won't be here tomorrow or Saturday. Sunday, I'll probably finish Pizza Tower and finish Wario Land 3's main mode. Probably not do the, all the treasures right away, but probably try to get through that. And then uh, I'll probably finish that during the week and keep playing Vita Rhythm until uh, Kirby comes out. And then after Kirby, Metroid, and then after that, I don't know yet. We'll have to see what the stream schedule's like. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, keep an eye on my Twitter. I may have something to share tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, that's that's kind of it. You all have a great weekend. Take care. I'll see you around. And uh, I, I still don't know how to end my streams. I don't. I really don't. I'm crutching too hard on, on sound effects. Silly sound effects. Constantly.